Thanks. You know, I've come to learn over the years that there are a lot of writers with talent, many of them in this room tonight, but that really great and original talent is rare. And because it's so rare, it's also something that one can recognize immediately, even in its most fledgling state. Now, I first encountered Justin and Venge's work at an early stage, while they were still college students at the University of Michigan. I heard a collection of theater songs they were working on, which they eventually turned into a review called Edges. Justin had given me a recording of the songs to listen to, as many young writers have done from time to time, and I put the CD on in my car, thinking I would give it a casual listen on my drive home. But after only a couple of songs, because that's all it took, I realized, oh, wait a minute, these kids are really good. And that was just the beginning of their development but it was already obvious and undeniable. This was that rarity, a songwriting team of great and original talent. And with talent like this, of course, as soon as Justin and Ben arrived in New York to seek a career writing musical theater, it was inevitable that many beside myself would spot it right away. Again, many who are right here in this room tonight to celebrate them. The opportunities quickly began to come their way, and as we know, they made the most of them. And even this early, in what promises to be a long and distinguished career, there are a couple of remarkable achievements one can already point to. For one thing, they've expanded the audience for musical theater. I've heard throughout my career Broadway professionals bemoaning the lack of interest in theater shown by young people. Well, after Dear Evan Hansen, one can clearly say, not anymore. Justin and Benj, with their collaborator, book writer Stephen Levinson, created a work that has resonated across generations and excitingly brought an entirely new audience of young theatergoers to musical theater. Which brings us to their work for musicals on film. Again, I have no doubt that this will eventually encompass many years and many movies. But already, they've changed the sound of the movie musical. With their score for The Greatest Showman, as well as their lyrics for La La Land, they brought a contemporary musical sensibility that once again speaks to a new generation. But as gifted theater writers, they have also brought their strong sense of storytelling. And that is a rare combination that all working in the field must now aspire to. If ever a songwriting team could be considered to be in the vanguard, it is these two exceptionally talented young men, and so it is with great admiration and great personal affection that I have the pleasure to present the ASCAP Vanguard Award to Ben Passick and Justin Paul. <laughs>
We met uh, Michael when we were, I think, 20 or 21 years old at the Johnny Murphy Songwriting Festival, as Paul was saying. And, and he took uh, us out for a pancake breakfast that we will never forget. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever ordered breakfast with Michael, but he has a very specific set of rules of when the coffee can come. Coffee has to come at a very certain time. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, and, and he explained to us ASCAP and, and PROs, and, and, and we didn't understand any of what he was saying. And I don't really get it now, fully get it now. Um, but, but, but we know how important it is and how vital it is and the work that's been done and is being done, especially right now. So, um, so uh, we're so grateful for that. And Michael is who fostered our relationship with Stephen. Um, what Stephen didn't tell you, the full story, uh, which I feel like is, is bears repeating because um, it just speaks to the incredible way that ASCAP uh, cultivates its young writers and, and cares so much about craft and passing down the tradition of songwriting. Um, I, I met Stephen at an event and, and I went up to him and he, he you know, he, he is a world famous songwriter, was at that time. And I went up to him and I, and I said uh, the thing that we've probably all done at some point, which is like, hey, um, you know, I, I'm a writer too. And, um, out, and he was like, I'm sure you are. Uh, and and uh, I was like, um, you know, like, uh, I, have a, I have a CD you know, in my back pocket. Where did that come from? Um, where did this come from? And, uh, and I said, look, my songwriting partner and I, we're in college right now. We're studying musical theater. We're huge dorks, and we worship you. And, and if you'd ever just listen to these songs, if you listen to this CD, we would lose our minds and we'd be forever grateful just to know that it went in and out of your ears for 15 seconds. And he said, okay, I'll give it a listen. And I was like, that's the polite and right thing to say, and you'll never do it, but that was good, good on you. Uh, and, and then I said, oh, also, like, here's our, oh, I wrote my email address on the back of the CD, um, uh, and, uh, and, you know, if you ever want to reach out to us, that's great, but don't expect you to, don't worry. And he didn't reach out to us uh, for a month, and then another month, and then three or four months. And it was the spring of our junior year in college, and it's probably April. Uh, and we were in, uh, you know, some sort of theater improv class, you know, uh, doing terribly in it. And and up on our umich.edu email addresses pops Stephen Schwartz. Um, I guess we have BFAs, so just imagine what this was like for us. Yes, yeah, we, we died. Truly losing your minds. So, uh, and, and, and it was from Stephen Schwartz, and what it was, it was sort of like, hey guys, um, I got a chance to listen to your songs, and then it went on for 14 pages, and it was, it was an analysis of every single song on our CD. The most encouraging and beautifully critical, and just, <laughs> but, but honestly, like the most incredible feedback that we could have ever gotten that taught us so much about now what we, we think of Every well, he was like, guys, there's this thing called rhyming, you're not doing it exactly. <laughs> um, uh, in the most loving way. Uh, he was sort of like, uh, there's this thing called subtext. Right, he's like, he's like, sometimes you write not exactly what the character's thinking, kind of like, with, like they say one thing, but they mean that, that's called subtext. We had a song at the time called Boy With Dreams. He was like, try a little harder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, but it, it, was, um, it was our very first of many, many master classes with Stephen Schwartz. Um, and other writers, other ASCAP writers as well, who have who mentored us and trained us, and, and we are so grateful as beneficiaries and products of this ASCAP family and, and system. Yeah, and just to to not speak forever, but just to be in the room with all of these people. I think it's already too long. Yeah, it's too long. Yeah, um, but just to be in the room with all these people who are the makers of the things that we love and that we study and that we look to and that we you know try our best not to totally rip off. Um, and we, we just feel so grateful to, to be a part of this family of people. And, and you know, Michael, we love pointing to him because he's often someone who he likes to be invisible and so many people in this room are invisible and it's incredible to, to get to be in an evening where uh, the, the work that is so behind the scenes is celebrated. So thank you guys for, for helping us, you know, achieve all that we've done and, and, and do, doing it all together. I mean, what, what we all do is so clever. That's the wonderful thing about what we do is we're, we are often in dark rooms by ourselves way too often, but, and tonight's like everyone's out in the wild, but, um, <laughs> but, um, but, but what we do is so collaborative. We're here with some of our most trusted and admired um, wonderful collaborators tonight who we trust and we work all together. Um, and we're grateful that they're here. And we know that there's so many 
people here who all work together to create this together. Um, and I don't know exactly what I'm saying or going on this, but, um, but we're so grateful to be part of a collaborative art form where we all work together, music executives and music supervisors and everyone here who does their part to create magic of music and cinema and and, and the amazing change uh, and, and the amazing effect they can have on people around the world. We're going to stop talking because this will be a little longer. Thank you guys. Thank you.